to provide accurate information out to this community about what's occurring on two other internal affairs investigations. The first is that of which that involved the young man DeLuca over in Tamarack, where two of my deputies, uh, Deputy Christopher Krikovich and Sergeant Gregory Lacerra, were subjects of an internal affair investigation. One of the things we were able to do was to get this uh, baseline internal affairs aspect completed, and it was turned over and submitted to the state attorney's office on May 10th of 2019. We are continuing to wait until the state attorney makes a decision as to whether or not there's gonna be any criminal charges that they may pursue related to this incident before we can move forward and finalize our internal affairs investigation. Now, why is that critical? Why is that important? I continue to reach out to different community meet, uh, leaders here, and they are unaware of the process and their speculation that BSO is not doing anything related to this case. And that is so far from the truth. The truth is we can't move forward until we actually hear back from the state attorney. And that is no different from any other internal affairs investigation that take place, especially those that may have an implication of criminal charges towards a deputy. And so when we receive that case back, we will move forward as a command staff and make a corrective uh, decision in terms of what disciplinary action needs to be finalized. And so I want that to be echoed back out to this community. The second case that I'm gonna touch into uh, involves Deputy George Sabrino. This is well documented. He's the deputy who was involved in striking an individual who was handcuffed in a hospital. That case too has gone through its baseline internal affairs investigation here in this organization, and we submitted that to the state attorney's office on May 15th of 2019. And the same processes are in place. When we receive the finalized uh, decision-making aspect from the state attorney's office, it will come back into our office. Our command staff will examine it. It will make its way through its process through the Professional Standards Committee. And once all those things are checked and completed, I will make a decision. We won't be able to move any faster at this point. We've already put everything we needed to uh, over in the state attorney hands because our entire command staff understand how important this is and how vital it is for the community. 